Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Dilip Mohan. I am a senior consultant in the Department of Neurosurgery here at Sakra World Hospital, Bangalore. Today, I would like to talk to you about surgical procedures for stroke. Stroke, as we all know, is a disturbance in brain function due to disruption in its blood supply. Normally, the treatment for stroke involves medical treatment in the form of blood thinners or procedures to dissolve the blood clot which is blocking the blood vessel. But there are some scenarios where surgical procedures are considered in the treatment of stroke. The first scenario, the surgery is called carotid endarterectomy. So this is a surgical procedure which is aimed at removing the plaque buildup in the blood vessel called carotid arteries which are major blood vessels in the neck which supply blood to the brain. In this surgery, the surgeon places an incision in the neck, accesses the artery, opens the artery, removes all the plaque buildup in the artery and repairs the artery. This surgery helps in preventing future disabling strokes and this has got a very high success rate. The second scenario where surgery is considered is when the stroke symptoms caused by a hemorrhagic stroke, that is a bleeding within the brain. In this surgery, a hole or a small piece of the bone is removed. The blood clot is removed, thereby reducing the pressure and this surgery aids in faster recovery from stroke. The third situation where a surgery is considered for stroke, this surgery is called decompressive craniectomy. In this surgery, a large piece of the skull is removed so as to relieve pressure from a severe stroke or a large volume stroke which leads to cerebral edema and increased pressure on the brain. This is a life-saving procedure and if done within 24 to 48 hours, helps in recovery from a severe stroke. As you can see, surgical procedures are there which helps in treatment of stroke. Still, the primary treatment of stroke lies in preventing the stroke and also seeking early medical help. Thank you.